everyone! I'm Cerulea Rose, beauty editor at Nordstrom, and today I'm trying out glitter. I got a new palette and some tips from one of our beauty stylists on how to keep glitter where you want it. I've found that whenever you're working with glitter or intense pigment, it's best to start with a bare face. It makes it super easy to clean up any messes that happen. And if you're feeling extra and didn't get enough sleep, slap on some eye patches. Not only will this catch the dreaded fallout, it'll wake up your tired eyes at the same time. I'm starting with a pale shade that's pretty close to my skin tone just to even things out and kind of set a base. Next, I define the crease with a mid-tone taupe, blending as I go. Take that under the lash line and keep blending. You can never blend too much. Next, work a metallic brown across the lid and under the lash line for a little more definition. Okay, it's glitter time. I'm going to use a little bit of glitter glue. It's like a primer, but better. Slightly tacky to hold the twinkly goodness in place. I like to use my pinkies. I've noticed color payoff is always better with a little bit of warmth from your hand. Carefully blend the edges with a fluffy brush. Lately, I've been liking a little dot of glitter right under the pupil. It's a trick I saw on Instagram, a Met Gala look by makeup artist Fiona Styles. Clean up any fallout with a damp cotton pad and then finish the rest of your face. A little foundation, a bit of blush, a touch of gloss, and mascara, of course. I kept it simple since it's such a statement. Consider this day glitter. Is that a thing? Our stylists love talking trends and demystifying makeup, so stop in any time or chat with one online. We're here for you. <laughs>